look at this humongous box. Ooh, it's heavy. Hi, I'm Iris from Iris Impressions Art, and today I am unboxing this huge upgrade box. It's like five kilos of art supplies. What? I don't actually know what's in here. It's a complete surprise. I mean, I'm guessing art supplies, right? Let me give you a little bit of practical detail first. This is the Upgrade Christmas box. It is available for shipping worldwide, which is amazing. I know I love it when I know upfront what something costs and what the value is. So let me just tell you, this is 89 euros, which is approximately $96 or 78 pounds. The value of everything that's in here is over 160 euros, so over twice the list price, which is amazing. And you can get 10 euros off if you use my code, which is irisxmas, and you can also find the link and the code in the description below. Now I'm gonna open it. This is too much. I'm gonna need an extra table to like put everything onto. <laughs> I have a very small art space. Okay. Oh, okay, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna take everything out of the box one by one and tell you what it is. I think that seems practical and interesting. Okay. Let me just set up my extra table so I can actually put things down. <laughs> okay, the extra table has been deployed. Let's get into it. So first of all, we have got Windsor & Newton Artist Charcoal. Hmm. I wonder how many different reactions I can do, or is it just gonna go, hmm, with everyone? The National Gallery Oil Pastels. That's really interesting. Van Gogh is the brand. That is very cool. I really look forward to these. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't have these, so that's very exciting. Yay. Art Space 12 color watercolor set. Amazing. Lots of different colors. I love the red. And I look forward to swatching these. Oh, masking tape. I know, like, Iris, why are you excited about masking tape? But this has been something that I have needed to buy <laughs> for, like, months now, and I just keep not getting around to it. So, excellent. Masking tape. What have we got here? Huh? I am, I'm having deja vu. More charcoal. Medium. Yep. Two of these. Exciting. I wonder... I'm gonna guess that every single box is slightly different. I don't know, but that seems like that would be the case. I'm not sure. What is this? A travel brush. Okay. You know, don't forget your travel toothbrush, but also don't forget your travel brush. Ooh, okay, cool. I don't have one of these. Yes. Because one of my issues when traveling actually is often that I put my brushes in and then like the tips get like smushed against whatever I put them in, so. Nice. And what have we got here? A Spectrum Noir Metallic uh, Dual Tipped Marker in Red Garnet. Uh, so like thin tip and brush tip. High text marker that writes on CD, DVD, plastic, glass, metal. <laughs> I'm like reading the Italian, translating it, only to realize the English is right underneath. Okay, cool. Okay, very thin tipped, uh, writes on anything. Interesting color, green. Let's move on. A... <laughs> a funky glove? <laughs> like what? This feels like a magician's glove, right? How does this work? What is this for? I need... There's two. Two two-fingered gloves with also space for the rest of one's hand. This. Is this for when you're like drawing and you get like, uh, or, or, or painting and you get like lots of residue here? Is that what this is for? Tell me in the comments because I am stumped. What is this for? <laughs> but that seems like a good deduction, right? I'm like 1% into this box so far. <laughs> Ooh, I love these little bulldog clips in four different colors. Very practical. This is a, a kneadable eraser, I think, in blue. Very useful. Okay, it's a very good range of different things because like, I know that some things I will definitely use and other things I'm like, well, that doesn't really fit into my practice, but it's still very exciting. What have we got here? Ooh, a Rembrandt Lyra white pastel. 
that will be useful for me definitely scratchy scratchy love a good white pencil by the way like i feel like the holy grail is finding the best white pen but a white pencil is not far behind actually oh i've not heard of this before this brand this looks like a white pencil as well i'll have to test it but the brand is uh loifer floret never heard of it another brush very useful a black line synthetic uh colibri brush nice that will definitely come in handy for me uh, another brush i actually have one of these already it's a number six lucas uh, round brush and um i really like this one. Ooh, another pencil a lyra charcoal pencil they're quite chunky Liquitex soft body acrylic in dioxazine purple. Nice. I don't think I have this. No, I don't have this color yet. That's very exciting. Oh, ink. Oh, I can see ink. Two of them. Ooh. Brick red. Interesting. So kind of like an orangey red and a purple. Let's just have a quick look inside. Oh yeah. That looks really nice. Cool, 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 cool. This is very exciting. This feels like going to the art supply shop, putting a blindfold on, and then just going like, mm, I'm gonna buy that. And then like just loads of different stuff, which is in a way, that's my favorite way of going to the art supply shop. Like when I don't need anything, but I have some money to spend, I like go like, oh, I'll have this and I'll have this and I'll have this. And this is exactly like, this is that vibe. Ooh, fun. This is a a uh what do you call it a tote bag like a canvas tote bag and i actually had one of these before let me just show you what i did with it because i have it right here. here's one i made earlier i um had one of these and i decorated it with black markers and uh like a uh, fabric paint and you know i irisified it um and this is my favorite bag i keep all of my um embroidery floss and um and like friendship bracelet making stuff in here. Look forward to creating another irisified bag out of this. More bulldog clips, clips, clips. What have we got here? Oh, this is uh, fabric paint. So that will be useful for that bag. Uh, this is Pebeo Seta color in white and raspberry. Really nice. Oh, more needable erasers. Does anybody need any needable erasers? Because I don't really use these. <laughs> I will have a lifetime supply of needable erasers. Ooh, fun. Some natural sponges. I love these. I don't, I don't really never, I, I never really know how to use these. Like I, they're, they're not part of my practice, but like I love them. I love the concept. We have got a Viking Rollo HB Artist Graphite Pencil, an Art Space Color Marker, alcohol marker. <laughs> Give it the sniff test. So chisel tip and brush tip. What color is this? It doesn't have a name, but it's V219. It's a kind of a violety light purple. Um, ooh, a solid highlighter. Do not eat. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that advice. Uh, candy crystal, art line candy crystal. Huh? What? I, ca I understand now why they tell you not to eat it. <laughs> twist down oh this is the end of it so you need to do a thing what it looks like i don't know what this is oh okay oh hang on <laughs> on a piece of paper that i don't have this is my script for a <laughs> for a video i filmed recently um like look it's like it looks like a proper highlighter but it feels more like a crayon how interesting don't eat don't eat it Let's see, are there any more? Ooh, ooh. Uh, loose things. Oh, hang on. Okay, fine. Oh my god, there is so much in here. This is gonna be such a long video. Oh, yes! Oh my god, I have one of these and I love it. It's a Le Plume pigmented opaque uh, paint pen uh, with white and I really like it. I always have trouble with white pens and like they get clogged, but I do really like this when it works and it's been working for me so far. So it's really nice to have a second one having a backup. What's this? Spectrum Noir Metallic Paint Marker. Okay, cool. In uh, Quicksilver. Nice, three millimeter tip. Okay, mm, we'll see. Not really my thing, but that's fine. Cinnamon Brown uh, Koh-i-Noor Polycolor. 
Okay, I've never used this before. This is not really my color, but I'm interested in using and trying a new brand that I haven't tried yet. These are all part of one set, I think. These are a set of Artspace watercolor brush markers. So let me just check. There's quite a few of them, actually. Ugh. Whoops. One, two, three. And there's 15 of them in a variety of colors. They have, um, let me just like look at one in a bit more detail. So Artspace watercolor brush marker, brush tip. Ooh, individual brushes brush tip individual hairs type of thing interesting interesting i'm not a big watercolor brush marker person uh in my normal mixed media art but i do love them for like planner journaling so um that is a nice thing another spectrum noir metallic paint marker this one in liquid gold this time another uh poly color gold ochre kind of earthy tones not really an earthy tone type of person. Krita Color Mega Narrow Soft. Interesting. I do love a good soft pencil, so I'm interested in trying that one out. Another one of these pencils, Polycolor. This one is Meadow Green. A brush. Gonis Aquarelle. Okay, sure. I'll add it to the collection. Can never have too many brushes, especially with how I treat mine. Uh, another art space color marker, one of those alcohol ones, uh, like a pale yellow. Giotto Decor Textile. Okay, so a textile pen for that canvas bag. Uh, black chalk. Krita color, like a chalk pencil, I imagine, uh, in black. Ooh, a tiny little brush. Uh, art space 3 slash 0 synthetic brush. Look, it's tiny very useful for like lettering and like squiggly lines that I like to do with ink. A couple of pens, Artspace pi Pigment Liner Brush. Okay, yeah, like a tiny brush tip, all right. Bell Bowl Fine Line, okay, a black fine liner, sure. Won't say no to that. Some more stuff here by the side. Ooh, hang on, hang on. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have a counter for Needable erasers. Ding, this was the fourth one. Okay, ooh, another uh, brush. Uh, number six, Art Space Synthetic Brush. Yeah, very useful, like a round tip brush. I just use those a lot. Another fabric marker. And this looks like a water brush. Uh, interesting one with a, what is this for? Oh, like, so you can pump it maybe? Or so you can fill it when you run it under the tap? I've not seen this before where like the thingy comes out at the back. Or maybe like so that it's a travel version so that you can like travel with it like this and then you fill it and you got like loads of water. I don't know, but I'm very excited about these types of brushes. I use those a lot. Another textile marker in pink this time. Uh, I spy another white pencil, hang on. Koinor Giaconda White Coal interesting i'm excited about the number of white pencils and black pencils that's going to come in really handy um and also just to figure out like what brands do i like okay a winsor newton fine liner 0 0.8 there we go let's have a quick look oh yeah interesting quite a chunky one actually we've got a few more things that have kind of like gone into the side i think this is the last of that black fabric marker um, so that's very handy. I used that one a lot when I did that bag. Oh, and a uh, chunky brush. This is gonna come in really handy for me as well. I love it. Now we've got like this little packet, which I am going to unwrap. Oh gosh, more. Okay, here we've got the art space color markers again uh, in like three pastel colors. These are the alcohol markers. Just sniff them again. Yeah. I think another one of these little watercolor palettes. This is quite cool, actually. I might give this away to a friend, seeing as I now have a couple of them. Here is a jewel tipped fine liner. It is uh, like a calligraphy pen from Tombow and lots of Japanese writing on it. Uh, it's got black on that side and it has got gray on that side. A little brush, uh, number zero, uh, very useful. 
now we're into the really like the heavy paper stuff i think so let's have a look we've got a art space sketch pad for all dry media yeah i'm gonna ignore that <laughs> i throw wet media at everything okay a5 20 sheets 180 gsm snow white paper ph neutral and it includes two sheets of tracing paper okay interesting bristol sketch pad 15 sheets a5 185 gsm best for pencils pens ink markers very smooth and white always useful definitely go through a lot of that type of stuff Ooh, uh watercolor paper again art space um 100 cotton 300 gsm eight sheets nice i um i do love the thick watercolor paper what is this more watercolor paper um talents van gogh 12 sheets 300 gsm as well super useful and this is also a5 mm, no it's some other size big uh 30 sheets of art space a4 210 gsm never worry about ink bleeding to the other side okay cool nice oh another pencil surprise pencil viking i'm gonna guess this is just a graphite pencil okay is that like the first graphite pencil that we've had? Medium surface cartridge pad uh, from Windsor Newton. Uh, this is 130 GSM A4 medium grain, 30 sheets. Okay, interesting. The rest of the box, oh, hang on. One more loose thing. Art liner by Spectrum Noir. Uh, so like a fine liner, kind of like a 0.5 nib or something. I don't know useful and now the rest of the box is just one thing left which is actually like takes up the space of about half this box so let me get this out and show you whilst i'm filming myself this is in mirror image so i can't read it what does it say uh bourgeois okay le franc paris i don't know what this is oh it's acrylic paint that's really useful because We've been a bit light on the acrylic paint, actually. So yes, hang on, let me just move this out of the way. Cool. Okay, what is in here? There's five 80 milliliter tubes of primary colors. So uh, primary yellow, primary red, primary blue, and then also ivory black and titanium white. And it also has a gel 3D effect tube, like a medium, I imagine. Uh, a brush, like a um, flat brush. And uh, I think it also includes a uh, an apron. Okay. That's really useful because literally yesterday I was thinking to myself, I need to buy, I need to buy a set of primary acrylics for a lesson I'm teaching. So I need to go and buy those. And now I don't because now I have them. Excellent. I'm excited about this. I've never used this brand before. Okay. There we are. Here's the uh, extra table with the whole hall, the whole hall of art supplies. No, I forgot something. This one, I put it to the side and then I forgot. Let's open this. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, there's lots of little tubes of paint in here and bottles. Like I said, I, I did say like we're a bit light on acrylic paint and I'm like, okay, it's because I forgot this box. Okay, first of all, we've got Winsor Newton masking fluid, Azo yellow light oil color. Oil, I haven't really worked in oil yet. And then, we have got, oh, more oil. Uh, cobalt turquoise, cobalt blue turquoise by oh, Le Franc. Again, the same brand as the acrylics, but this is oil. Interesting, interesting. Gotta get into oils, I guess. Same brand, where's the English? Okay, Japanese yellow lemon, mineral violet. Interesting colors. Turquoise blue, some gouache uh, from Lionel, Linel. Uh, we've got rich green deep, blue gray, oh, look forward to using that one, and cadmium yellow light. What's a yellow? Liquitex Basics acrylic in light pink, in blue gray. Oh, I really like this color. This is such a nice color. And, and these go quite well together actually. And also in brilliant purple. Finally, like this really is the end of it. I have got some deco acrylic. Uh, so this is like soft body acrylic matte, also by Lefranc. Oh, that's the brand name, Lefranc and Bourgeois, okay. Matte colors, mastic. I have never heard of that color before. 
learn something new every day and night blue these two oh, there we go okay that was fun don't forget i have got a discount code for you for 10 euros off this box if you would like to get it too my code is iris xmas which is on the screen and will be in the description below as well uh, along with a link i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments which was your favorite thing that I unboxed. Let me know if you're going to get the box. I'd be very interested. If you get the box, I'm very interested to know what things did you get that were different from my box. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do videos like these, unboxings, art journal flips, and what do I do again? Vlogs. Those are the things I do. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Upgrade for sending me this box. And I will see you in the next one. Happy Christmas. When it is Christmas.